all just thinking about how things, you know, used to be back in the day, you know? And some of that stuff was good because it put something in us. I'm talking about train up a child in the, in the way they should go. You know, that, that stuff that they was doing back in the day. I'm, I'm old school. I'm going to tell you now, I'm old school. I'm old school all the way. I'm old school from the music I used to listen to when I was in the world. From, now I wasn't going back as far as the Temptations, but like Earth, Wind and Fire, Teddy Pendergrass, blah, blah, blah. I'm talking about when I was in the world. I cut that stuff loose. But when I gave my life to the Lord, but even from the TV shows, I still love the Jeffersons. I still love good times. I'm just, I'm just old school. And I think like, the way the, the parents used to do things back in the day, the old way, I still love that way. Let me let me tell you, because now it's like, nowadays you don't know who the parent is. Let me tell you, I dated this girl one time, and me, her, and her son went, this before, before this BC, and we went to the grocery store, and her son just ran down the aisle with his arm out, knocking things down in the aisle. And she was like, Let's just say his name, Ricky. I'ma beat you, Ricky. I'ma beat you when we get home, Ricky. I'ma beat you, Ricky. And I'm standing there like, no, you're not. <laughs> and when we got to the house, it was nothing else. I ain't gonna lie, y'all gonna think I roll for this, y'all, but I reminded her, I said, didn't you say you're gonna beat Ricky? <laughs> didn't you say you're gonna beat Ricky? But it's like kids, the children get away with so much today so much today like I feel like when adults are talking like children should be children and, and go play if we're not talking to you our conversation don't include you no need for you to be in our face go go play let me tell you when my mother used to be talking to adults and we we tried to sit there and listen and talking about me and my sister she like y'all go play and she trained us and bed that in us that that we got to the point where when she was talking to adults, we, we knew to go play. You couldn't just jump in in, in conversations with adults. What? <laughs> you couldn't. Kids now, they could jump all in your conversation. They could tell you things better than you. I'm like, things have really changed. Things have really changed. I mean, it... it it just ain't the same no more. Now, I don't know who the adult is and who the parent is. Yeah. It's crazy. But no, and but not everybody, though. Some people got that. Let me tell you something. And it's not all about beating and it's not all about punishing. Let me tell you, though. Some, there are some parents out there who don't beat their children, who just say, do this, and they do it. They say, do that, and they do it. And, and they know not, they also know not to jump in their conversations, you know? And this ain't all about jumping in conversations, but I brought that up because that's the first thing that came to my mind when I was talking about train up a child. Because you're training them, whether good or bad, you, you, you're training your kids. You are training them. Not training them is still training them. Because while your kids are small, you gotta embed certain things in them. You gotta embed manners in them. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yes, sir. No, sir. May I have? Please. Thank you. You got to put that in children while they are young. And the Bible says, when they are old, it will not depart from them. Come on, train up a child. You gotta train your child where you want them to go in the way you want them to go. I'm telling you, it's just, it's just different. It's just different. Let me tell you, I dated this other girl when I first moved to the Carolinas, right? And her daughter was three years old. And I remember one time we sitting in the living room. Now, this girl didn't like to go play. If you told her go play, it was a punishment to her. Matter of fact, I mentioned her in my book. It was like punishment to her. It, go play is punishment to children nowadays. You, you ain't had to tell us but one time to go play. Go play, okay. 
go play now? That little girl would cry. She was three. Be like, go play. <laughs> Why? Because she got so used to sitting there and joining the conversations. And one time there was a couple of girls at the house and they was talking about they were talking about different people. The three-year-old jumped in the conversation and told them no. So-and-so's not seeing him. She's seeing so-and-so. What? What? A three-year-old. A three-year-old should not know who's dating who and who they're creeping with. Come on. Train up a child. Things is different. And believe me when I tell you, I'm not on here to say, come on, beat your children. Beat them. Beat them. I'm not saying beat them. I'm saying train them. I'm saying train them. Let children be children because they, they, children grow so fast. Children grow so fast. Let them be children. While they're children. And don't allow, and, and another day, teach your children to have respect for adults. So they could di differentiate the difference between an adult and a child. Come on, I've seen some children talk to adults like, like they was the same age. Train up a child in the way they should go. And when they are old, they won't depart from it. Like even now, because my mother embedded that in me when I was young. Like if I walk up to two people that are talking, I stand there and wait. Either I wait and let them finish or I say, excuse me. If I'm not in a hurry, I let them finish. If I'm in a rush, I'm gonna say, excuse me. But people, I have been in some conversations with people where even adults, even because they wasn't trained when they was young, even adults have walked up and they start talking to the other person. And I'm like, you don't see me talking to them. This happened to me once with a Caucasian person and once with an African American. They just start talking to the other person like they don't see, they saw us talking. It ain't like they didn't see us talking, they saw us talking. And you know why? Because that wasn't embedded in them while they were young. So when they got older, they did not depart from it. Come on, train up a child. I ain't trying to stay on here long. I just, just wanted to say that, train up a child. Because when I'm riding, I meditate on, you know, different things. And that's one of the things that was on my mind. So I just want to say that. Train up a child in the way they should go. And when they are old, they will not depart from it. Train them up. Let children be children while they're children. Oh, oh, another thing. I was about to end this, but another thing, because I'm passing a church. The way children act in church nowadays. You know what? We couldn't we couldn't do all that running around. And we couldn't do that running around the church, getting up, going back and forth. All right. We knew to sit there. We knew to sit there. But nowadays, it's just like, what happened to the old way? What happened to the old way? Church, let me tell you something, church is not a playground. Church is not a playground. Later on in life, you're going to want your children to be saved. You're going to want them to be saved. But you sh at, at the same time, you should have made them pay attention. Why do we all? Anyway, guys. I'm going. I'm going, I'm going. That's all I wanted to say. Train up a child. You know, we're going to start having a lot of conversations when I'm riding. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going. Peace.